Hey guys, your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, you are welcome. Guys, we are still doing the four agreements, but we're in the book called The Mastery of Love. I know we think we know everything about love and you know we have all the answers and we don't. So I'm gonna pick up where we left off, guys. I just read like maybe a little bit so we can see what's going on. So love is based on respect. Fear doesn't respect anything, including itself. If I feel sorry for you, it means I don't respect you. You cannot make your own choices. When I have to make the choices for you, at that point, I don't respect you. If I don't respect you, then I try to control you. Most of the time when we tell our children how to live their lives, it's because we don't respect them. We feel sorry for them and we try to do for them what they should do for themselves. When I don't respect myself, <clears throat> I feel sorry for myself. I feel I'm not good enough to make it in this world. How do you know when you don't respect yourself? When you say, poor me, I'm not strong enough, I'm not intelligent enough, I'm not beautiful enough, I cannot make it, self-pity becomes, self-pity comes from disrespect. <clears throat> love is ruthless. It doesn't feel sorry for anyone, but it does have compassion. Fear is full of pity. It feels sorry for everyone. You feel sorry for me when you don't respect me, when you don't think I'm strong enough to make it. On the other hand, love respects. I love you. I know you can make it. I know you are strong enough, intelligent enough, good enough that you can make your own choices. I don't have to make your choices for you. You can make it. If you fall, I can give you my hand. I can help you to stand up. I can say, you can do it. Go ahead. That is compassion, but it is not the same as feeling sorry. Compassion comes from respect and from love. Feeling sorry comes from the lack of respect and from fear. Love is completely responsible. <clears throat> Fear avoids responsibility, but this doesn't mean that it's not responsible. Trying to avoid responsibility is one of the biggest mistakes we can make because every action has a consequence. Everything we think, everything we do has a consequence. If we make a choice, we have an outcome or a reaction. If we don't make a choice, we have an outcome or a reaction. We are going to experience the consequence of our actions in one way or another. That is why every human is completely responsible for his actions, even if he doesn't want to be. Other people can try to pay for your mistakes, but you will pay for your mistakes anyway. And then you pay double. When others try to be responsible for you, it only creates a bigger drama. Love is always kind. Fear is always unkind. With fear, we are full of obligations, full of expectations with no respect, avoiding responsibility and feeling sorry. How can we feel good when we are suffering from so much fear? We feel victimized by everything. We feel angry or sad or jealous or betrayed. Anger is nothing but fear with a mask. Sadness is fear with a mask. Jealousy is fear with a mask. With all those emotions that come from fear and create suffering, we can only pretend to be kind. When we are not kind because we don't feel good, we are not happy. If you are in the track of love, you have no obligations, no expectations. You don't feel sorry for yourself or for your partner. Everything is going well for you, and that is why that smile is always on your face. You are feeling good about yourself, and because you are happy, you are kind. Love is always kind, and that kindness makes you generous and opens all the doors. Love is generous. Fear is selfish. It is only about me. Selfishness closes all the doors. Love is unconditional. Fear is full of conditions. In the track of fear, I love you if you let me control you, if you are good to me, if you fit into the image I make for you. I create an image of the way you should be, and because you are not and never will be the image, I judge you because of that and find you guilty. Many times, I am even ashamed of you because you are not what I want you to be. If you don't fit the image I create, you embarrass me, you annoy me. I have no patience at all with you. I am just pretending kindness in the track of love there is no if. There are no conditions. I love you for no reason, with no justification. I love you the way you are, and you are free to be the way you are. If I don't like the way you are, then I'd be better with someone who is the way I like her or him to be. We don't have the right to change anyone else, <clears throat> and no one else has the right to change us. If we are going to change, it is because we want to change, because we don't want to suffer any longer all right guys i'm going to leave it there 
So if you find yourself there to the point where you feel like, and, and, and I think what it is, is a lot of the times, guys, we don't even feel like we're controlling another person. We feel like we're helping them. We feel like we're giving them advice. We feel like if you do it this way, it'll be better. If you do it this way, it'll be better. And then we have the list talking about, well, he or she don't do this, 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 and this. And I don't like this, this, and this. And I want this, this, and this. And I like this, this, and this. All that's fake. All that is putting stipulations on someone trying to build a body, build a person, build a man, build a woman, saying if you do this, 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 and this, and your favorite color is yellow, then you can be with me and I love you. But if your favorite color is green, I can't love you like that. Because it has to be my way. I have to control the relationship because I have fear in me. I'm insecure. I'm worried for whatever happened in your past. That's that fear. And I say it all the time, guys. I said, if you love somebody, you can't change them. Remember? I say it all the time. If you love them, you can't change them. You love them for who they are. You can't change them thinking... Oh, I'm going to get with this person and then I'm going to take her to the gym because I want her to work out. Or I'm going to get with him. He's a little heavy, but I'm going to make him make sure he loses weight. Or it could just be anything, guys. It could be stop controlling. Let your person be who they are. Like, if you meet a person today man or woman and you know they hang out with their girlfriends once a month you know they hang out with their boys once a month or through football season every sunday they're sitting up in a bar they sitting somewhere with their friends but they've been doing this for the past 25 years you can't come in their life and change it that's not right what you can do is you can compromise and be like hey babe sometimes i want to be with you on sunday sometimes i want to watch the game with you sometimes he'll say well come on come on or they'll bring the people to the house. Come on. You see what I mean? But you can't control them. You can't enter into somebody's life and then say all of a sudden, I don't want you to do tarot. I don't want you to do this. I don't want you to have curly hair. I want you to relax your hair. I want a 12-inch weave. I want an 18-inch weave. I want you to go get your body done. I want this. I want that. I want that. That's not love. That's building what you think is love. But deep down inside, even if that person changed all of those things and stopped doing all of those things for you, what you going to do if deep down in you, inside you still don't love them? You see what I mean? So you got to love a person because you love them. You got to love them. You can't change them. And I've been saying that since I got on here, guys. You can't change a person. And changing a person comes from fear. It comes from your own insecurities. It comes from your own whatever it is that you got deep-rooted. I don't know. But we all got something. We do. Yes, I try to change people too. I have. Hey, I'm still trying to change people today. Because <laughs> I just see better for you. Right? It's true. But I just see better for you. But is that disrespect? Possibly. My bad. So I'm learning too. Guys, don't control anybody. Let them be who they are. And if you love them for who they are, then you love them. But if 10 things make up a person and 9 of the things you don't like, bow out that's not your person it's not your person but if they have eight of those things and only two things are missing you can still love that person be grateful you can't get everything that you want you can't you can't get everything that you want I'll be back in a few days. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace. This is called The Four Agreements, guys. It comes with three books. And we're in the mastery of love. All right, guys. Peace.